Building relationships is such a critical skill that I think every man needs to develop. But generally speaking, and I fall into this trap as well, it's just something that we're not that great at doing. But if you look at women, they're exceptional at it. My wife has 20 friends that she goes out with every couple of weeks and they're there for each other and they support each other. But as men, it's just something that we don't focus on as much. But it's just as important that we have those people in our lives. So today I wanna to talk about why it is so important that we have male friends that we're around. I also wanna talk about how we can identify people that are potentially going to be friends relationships for us. How do we connect with them? How do we reach out to them? And then how do we follow up and build and nurture and develop relationships with other guys? All right guys, so let's talk about the importance of relationships. I think some of these will be obvious to you, but I think others may not. The first thing that I can think of is that you just may need some help. I know that I've got a lot of projects going around my house and going around with my shop. We're putting a fence in our backyard. I'm also building a tree house for our kids. And sometimes there's just some things that I can't do on my own. I can't lift certain things or maybe I don't have the right tool. And so to be able to call a buddy up and say, hey, I need some help over here. Can you come over and help me with this project? And then to be able to drop what they're doing and rush over is a huge benefit. And that also works both ways. There's opportunities for me to go help buddies. Maybe if a friend needs to move, for example, I've got my truck and I can go help him move. The second thing that I can think of is that maybe you just need a sounding board. I need somebody to talk to sometimes. Maybe I've got an idea and I can't really articulate it very well or I don't know if it's a good idea. So a sounding board, somebody with a different perspective is extremely important. It could even be that I'm struggling in my relationship with my wife or my kids. And so to have a guy there to be able to walk me through that maybe they've experienced something similar, has been really, really beneficial for me. Third thing I can think of is job opportunities. You know, I've had job opportunities and opportunities to make money because of the relationships that I've developed with my friends. And no opportunity ever comes without having a relationship first. So the very last thing that I can think of is just your sanity. Sometimes you just need to get an escape. I went golfing this morning with three of my buddies and we spent two and a half hours golfing. And I didn't have to worry about impressing anybody and I didn't have to worry about putting on some sort of persona or image. All I did was I went out there and I had a great time and it does wonders for the sanity. I come back and I'm recharged, I'm rejuvenated because I had that male time. All right guys, so let's talk about the very first thing which is to identify friends, to be able to see who it is that you wanna spend time with, what guys out there are gonna be uplifting and beneficial for you. And I think the first thing you need to do is you need to take an inventory. Uh, it's a lot like getting in shape and having a fitness plan. If you don't know where you're starting, you're never gonna have any idea of how to get to where you wanna be. And so that's why we have a scale to measure where we currently are. And it's the same thing when it comes to building relationships and having friends. You've gotta know, are these guys in my life, people that are uplifting me and helping me accomplish the goals that I wanna get and getting me to where I wanna be, or are these guys that are pulling me back? The second thing you need to do is look around where you are. I mean, you've got other guys that are in your office, you've got other guys in church, you've got other guys in your kids' sporting activities or your PTA, whatever it may be, there's other men that are looking for friends and want to develop and build relationships with other guys just like you do. So look around, be deliberate about who's in your life currently because those might be guys that will help you get to where you want to be if you can build relationships with them and become friends with those guys. The third thing I think that's important is that you've just got to take action. It's so easy for us to sit behind a cubicle and do our work or get home and plop our butts on the couch and not get out there and be active. It's a lot harder to be active, but if you want good things in your life, you've got to take the actions and the steps to do it. So it could be going into more sporting games. It could be just getting outside. It could be things in your community or your church at work. It could be going to the bar. Whatever it is, you've got to be active. You've got to be around other people. Otherwise, you'll have no opportunity to meet anybody new. I want to give you some things and some tools that have worked well for me as I'm developing and building relationships. But I think that the people that we want to reach out to fall into one of two categories. There's people that we know. Uh, it might be very simply, we just know them as acquaintances or we might be friends with them already. But then there's also people that we don't know and people that we want to reach out to. So if, it, if we're trying to develop and build relationships with people we know, I think the best thing that we can do is just have a conversation with them. Uh, find out about them, talk with them a little bit more. And the very next step is to just invite them to a group setting. Maybe you're going to a game, maybe you're going to a movie, whatever it may be, maybe you're going out with the guys, but invite them to a group setting. I think that's a whole lot less intimidating than saying you wanna hang out one-to-one -one or go camping for the weekend. Always invite them to a group setting. That'll take a lot of the stress and the burden off. And then if you like that person, then that you can develop from there. But if you don't like that person, it's not as intimidating if there's other guys that you're hanging out with. Uh, the next thing is that people you don't know. 
How do you reach out and connect with people you don't know? Well, the very first thing that I think you need to do is you need to approach that person. But having small talk, making small talk is a skill that not all of us are great at. Hey guys. Oh, big gulps, huh? All right. Well, see you later. So I use the acronym FROG to help me when I'm trying to build a relationship or have small talk. And so FROG stands for, first and foremost, it stands for family. Who is your family? Where is your family? Are you married? Do you have kids? Finding out about that person's family situation is definitely an icebreaker. The next thing is the R, which stands for recreation. What are the things that you like to do for fun? So for me, I like to golf, we do some four-wheeling, we do some hiking, I do Spartan races. Those are all activities I do for fun. And I'll give you a prime example. I was at the gym this morning talking with somebody who I know relatively well, but we've never necessarily hung out. And we were talking about golfing. Well, I didn't know he golfed, but I invited him to a golf outing that we're having in two weeks. And that's a prime opportunity of approaching somebody and then inviting them to an outing that, that, that I'm going to have. The next thing is the O, which stands for occupation. What do you do for work? Uh, is it, is it, do you work in an office? Do you work outside? Do you like your work? Are you trying to get new work? But I think talking about work is something that definitely breaks the ice and it pulls down barriers as well. The next thing is the G, which stands for goals. What goals do you have in life? What do you want to accomplish? Because people want to talk about themselves. We all do. And so if we can talk about our goals and our ambitions, that's something that people are going to want to address. They're going to want to talk about that. Any great relationship just takes time to build. You cannot force a relationship. It just doesn't work. And I've tried that in business and it doesn't work. Nothing comes good of it. So you've got to take your time. You've got to be deliberate and intentional about building and, and developing relationships with other guys over a long period of time. So I hope that's helped. I hope that gives you some insight and some ideas that have worked well for me when it comes to having more guys in my life that we're able to help each other. If I forgot something or you have another thought or another idea, I would love to hear about what works for you. So if you would, just go down to the comments below in this video, leave me a comment, let me know what works, and make sure you subscribe to the Order of Man YouTube channel so you never miss an important topic like this one or any of the other videos that we've done in the past. So I will look forward to talking with you next week, but until then, become the man you are meant to be.